Earthquakes, Earthquakes are, are scary, scary right? right? Well, well, they're, they're scary, scary because, because they create seismic waves, waves and those seismic, seismic waves carry energy. energy. Technically, Technically, always, always carry energy, energy but, but seismic, seismic waves carry a lot of it. it. And that, and that is, is enough to send people diving for the nearest sturdy table or door frame. Seismic waves are low-frequency waves that travel through the Earth. They're generally caused by an earthquake explosion or volcano. Seismic waves are studied by seismologists and detected using seismometers. These waves are described using a number on the Richter scale. The largest earthquake ever detected was in 1960 in Chile and was given a rating of 9.5 on the Richter scale. Because of their high energy, earthquake waves are definitely the most damaging and dramatic. But why is it that they have so much energy? Earthquakes happen when sections of the Earth's crust hit each other. The Earth's surface is split into many sections called tectonic plates that float on the sea of magma underneath. For example, most of the Pacific Ocean makes up the Pacific Plate. When these tectonic plates hit each other or scrape alongside each other, the result is an earthquake. Because of the huge size of the plates and the significance of the collisions, there is a lot of energy released when this happens. And that energy can cause huge amounts of damage. Most people don't notice the changes that happen during an earthquake from start to finish. To be fair, that's probably not surprising considering they spend most of that time running around in a panic or hiding underneath the kitchen table. But earthquakes contain at least four distinct types of seismic waves, which are grouped into two categories of surface and body waves. An earthquake is like a four-course meal, with every course different than the last, and every course increasingly bad for you. One difference between types of waves is the way some move through the interior of the Earth and others rise along the surface. As you can see in the image above, there are two general categories of waves, surface waves and body waves. Surface waves are, unsurprisingly, the ones that move along the surface of the Earth, while body waves go through the interior. The first thing you feel when an earthquake happens is the P wave or primary wave. This, this is like the salad, salad course. It gets, it gets to the table quickly and isn't particularly bad for you. The primary wave moves faster and arrives first. It's a longitudinal wave, meaning it vibrates the ground parallel to the direction of motion. It basically shakes the ground up and down or side to side. Despite having the highest frequency, the number of vibrations per second, P waves cause relatively minor damage. Next, Next comes the S wave, or secondary wave, which is like the main course. It can be sizable and have a big impact on your health. The S wave is pretty much the exact opposite of the P wave. It's transverse. The vibration is 90 degrees to the direction of motion. It's slow moving, but it causes far more damage. Imagine it as a ripple through the ground. S waves have lower frequencies than P waves, but still much higher frequencies than surface waves. There are also two types of surface waves, Rayleigh, also called Lamb waves, and Love waves. These are created when body waves interact with the surface of the Earth, creating surface waves that ripple along the surface, as if a stone had been dropped in a still pond. These surface waves are far more dangerous and cause the most damage. Love, love waves cause by far the most damage of any kind of seismic wave. This, this is the dessert course. We love dessert after all, but our bodies don't love us for eating it. Love waves are faster and larger in amplitude than Rayleigh waves, which is why they arrive first. And because of their shearing nature, they cause the Earth to split as it's pulled in multiple directions at once. The frequency of love waves vary with the speed, Lower love waves have higher frequency. Rayleigh waves are the last to arrive, like a final cheese course. They create ripples from the epicenter of the earthquake. This is the seismic wave that looks the most like a pond ripple. They're the slowest kind of seismic wave, but because of their large amplitudes, they still cause a lot of damage. The frequency of Rayleigh waves, like all waves, varies but is lower than either type of body wave. 
Seismic waves are low-frequency waves that travel through the Earth caused by earthquakes, explosions, or volcanoes. They're detected using seismometers, allowing scientists to rate them on the Richter scale. The most common source of seismic waves are earthquakes, which happen when two tectonic plates hit each other. Because of the size of these plates, earthquake waves carry huge amounts of energy. In this lesson, we discuss four types of seismic waves, P waves, S waves, Rayleigh waves, and Love waves. The first two are body waves. The latter two are surface waves. Love waves cause the most damage, and P waves the least. Thanks to our study of seismic waves, we have a better idea of what to expect when an earthquake hits. Through this knowledge and better preparation, we can save both property and human lives.